Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're in the industrial ruins, what now form the Headley Dell Nature Reserve. We're going to go for a walk along by the river and up to the old railway line. We're going to go and see the very impressive Headley Dell viaduct. This is the River Spodden, this is the valley I've just been walking along, and it's this valley that the Headleydale Viaduct carried the railway line across. It's about a quarter of a mile upstream that way, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a walk up here, up over the hill, and round to the old Broadley Station, and then I'm going to follow the old railway from there to Headleydale Viaduct. come through the farm and come to this road here. Now this is, we're going to go over Kessel Bridge. Yeah, interestingly, there's a bus turning circle here. So this must be one of Manchester's yeah. most remote yeah. bus terminuses. Oh, yeah, it's um, right up here, right up on the hill. It just seems so, you know, um, it just seems hard to believe we're actually in Greater Manchester, one of the biggest urban areas of the UK, and yet it's so rural and quite windy. I'm going to go down there, down that track down there, and that will take me down to Broadley Station. But firstly, I'm going to take you up here to see the views over Manchester. So we come up here, and down there, one of those tower blocks are, oh, that's Rochdale. Did do a video in Rochdale Town Centre, so there's a link on screen now, so have a look at that. That's Rochdale. Manchester's over there. I can see the Peak District in the far distance. Up here there's a load of farms, there's a path that goes even further up the hill, um, which, you know, I'd like to do, but I think today I'm just going to head back down there towards Broadley Station. I've come down from the hills and I'm now on the old railway. So this is the old Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, which ran from Rochdale up to Backup. So it's a very scenic railway, it opened in 1870, it closed to passengers in 1949, it closed to goods in 1952. And here is the platform of Broadley Station. So the station would have been here, I think as far as I'm aware there was only ever the one platform. It's quite interesting here. At first glance you think why is there a gap here in the platform? It's because the signal box would have been there and all the rods would have come out here and there'd have been a wooden platform on this section here so that's why there's a section of platform missing about here somewhere out there that's where the station building would have been there'd have been a set of steps just from this side of the road bridge down onto the platform as you'd have bought your ticket you'd have traveled that way up towards backup and you'd have traveled this way down towards Rochdale and Manchester so as I said this is all part of Greater Manchester it almost makes me think I should extend a metro link up to backup because um, you know serve quite a lot of people if they did um, I, I will always, you know, I always want to see any railway reopen, whether it's as a railway, as a heritage line or a tramway. Um, if it was a heritage railway, no doubt it would be very scenic, but then we have got the East Lancashire Railway fairly nearby, so whether another heritage railway, you know, would work. But um, I think a, a railway in some form, a commuter line, would work, because although it may feel really rural where I am now, not far from me that way, there's a lot of people living all up the valley, up towards back up, and back up is one of those, you know, fairly large towns that no longer has a railway station. So we're just going to come down under this bridge. I'm going to continue along the track, and we're going to go from one extreme of being down here in a cutting, we're going to end up on the Headleydale Viaduct. So I'm really looking forward to going over that and showing you the views from Headleydale Viaduct. I've walked along the railway line. I'm about 500 yards south of Broadley Station and the cutting is just starting to give way and in front of us will be Headleydale Viaduct. So this is what carried the railway over the River Spodden. It's really high. We're going to be a good 100 feet or so above the river. So it's, it's a really, it's not particularly long viaduct but it's going to be a very impressive viaduct. If you look there, it says Headleydale Management Committee it says you're not allowed to jump, abseil, climb, etc. Um, bungee jump, actually, it says. So, yeah, no bungee jumping off here, but you can enjoy the views. So here we are, the viaduct starts now. 
We're just coming on onto the viaduct in a moment. It'll open out, you'll be able to see the views, mainly of the treetops of the Heatherdale Gorge. We'll look down and um, we'll be able to see exactly what we're passing over. So if you look now, you can see. Now that's there's a lot of people live in the area. Um, you can see a few houses up there. You'll be surprised there's a lot of houses dotted all along just up there, but they're sort of out of sight. So if the railway ever did reopen, they would be the people who would use it to commute into Manchester, Rochdale, or for commuting and for pleasure, and just to enjoy the scenery. I know I certainly would. So you may just be able to see probably here. As we've gone over it, we have to go down under it. So we'll go down, we'll go under the viaduct, we'll go and have a look at the river, and then um, I'll have sort of be back to where I started. I parked about half a mile, quarter of a mile round the corner down there. So it's been a very interesting walk. Let's just get, we'll just get over the viaduct, and then um, I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go down and under the viaduct. So we're just coming to the end of the viaduct now. You can see we're no longer on a stone bridge. We're on a metal girder bridge, that's what carries the road beneath us. Um, if we look ahead here, you can see the railway line. It carries on in that direction, down towards Rochdale. We're going to go down here, so there's the viaduct. I'm going to take you down, down these steps, onto the road. And um, from here, what I'm hoping is we can get a bit of a view of the viaduct. If not, I'm going to go right down into the gorge, where we should get... Um, a better view of the viaduct. The one thing about this viaduct is it's not so easy to see because it's um, so surrounded by greenery. So here we are, this is the girded section that we're underneath now. Coming down onto this road, walk up here a little bit, and we should be able to see the viaduct. Yeah, have a look there. Um, I appreciate you are looking through the trees, but you can see the arches. And down there, I can hear the river down below. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go down to that path there and down again. I'm going to go right down. I'm going to take you right underneath the viaduct. I've come down from the viaduct. It is just behind me up there. We will go and have another look at the viaduct from below in a moment. But I thought I'd show you this rather interesting section here of the river. Here was an old mill built in the 16th century. Now to support the mill over the river we have this what appears to be a bridge. It's actually part of a, a whole tunnel that would have supported the whole building over the river itself. So it's not actually what looks to be a rather um, exciting fairy tale like bridge. It, it's part of a long tunnel to about there. Now if we have a look here I assume from what I'm looking at this is probably where the water from the mill would have flown through and out there. I'm not entirely sure whether there was a big water wheel once going around here. Um, if you know, comment and tell me. And then just beyond here, um, I'm not going to climb up there, it's a bit precarious looking, but there we have a rather spectacular cascading waterfall. I am going to make my way back up to the path because there is another bit up there I want to show you. And then what we'll do, we'll walk back down here and uh, we'll go and find the viaduct. This is as far upstream as I intend to come. I don't know if you can see, there are people down there swimming in the river, believe it or not. Now you can probably hear the water is quite loud. Well, there is quite a spectacular series of waterfalls down there. Um, it looks a bit dodgy to walk along to the first one, so um, I brought you up here where I can show you the second, but more impressive waterfall. It's known as the Fairies Chapel. So it's like, maybe they say it's the Valley of the Fairies. Um, I don't know. If you know why it's called Fairies Chapel, you know, do comment and tell me. I'm going to let you see that view now. I'm now going to head back down to the viaduct though, and um, we can have a look. We've looked down from the viaduct, so it's time to go back and look up at the viaduct. Well, here we are. I am now standing in the middle of the river. So, firstly, I've got to pick my way back across the stones 
to get back onto the path. But there, above us, looking rather overexposed at the moment, apologies for that, is the Headleydale Viaduct. So what I'm going to do, I'm got to, ooh, I've stepped on a wobbly stone, I've got to pick my way across the river. This, this has been quite, if there is such a thing, an adventurous Henry's Adventures uh, today. All starting off in holes, walking across unofficial stepping stones, um, and walking over and under impressive viaduct. So, as soon as I get off here, I'm going to take you under the viaduct, and then that will pretty much conclude this video. So there we are, look at it, it's it's huge. I'm sorry the sun keeps overexposing like that onto the video, but it's, it's hard to convey just how tall and impressive it is. There's a, a mill loose here, um, so I shall show you that. So look, this is the mill sluice. So we've got one section of water going along here. We're going to go across here, get a view of the spectacular weir, and where I am now. So you've got one section of water flowing on here with the main river down there. You can now possibly see just how big the piers of the viaduct are. Look at that, looking up like that. 100 feet above us once, trains, steam locomotives would have rumbled across there. Probably not that many diesels because as it last ran in 1952, I'm not saying diesels never went up there, but probably, you know, very few. And, uh, Get another view of the viaduct here. I appreciate there's a lot of branches in the way where it's less overexposed. Um, I'm going to carry on along the river. So I've got the river on one side and I've got this mill stream on this side. I'm going to carry on walking back to where I started. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And from down deep in the Headleydale Gorge, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. Thank you very much. Goodbye.